Right, so the reason you'll hopefully be watching this video is to learn on how to natively uh, change the aspect ratio of your sequence, of your project in Final Cut Pro. We are going to first duplicate the project. Once you've done that, you can rename the project. Okay, let's just change it to 2-35. Now, um, what we do is we go on top of the actual project and we go to, on the right hand side, and we go to Modify Settings. And then we can put in the video properties. So the one currently is that. What we're gonna do is go to, I'll just zoom in a bit actually, wait. We go to Custom. And then we're going to choose 816. That's right, 1920 by 816. That's the 235 dimensions. Okay? So, probably when you uh, modify the settings to the new settings I just explained, you're going to get uh, this kind of cropping, yeah? Like, so it's going to look pretty messy. So, what you're going to do is you're going to highlight all of the clips and then you're going to go to fill. That will then correct yes. that, that error. Now, when um, I've outputted that video, the home movie, so here's one aspect ratio, right? So let's get some info there, right? Now we're at 1920 by 816. Let's play that video. Here you see we can have a super wide view of the picture. Whereas if we had done the traditional letterboxing, it's going to look like that, right? And actually, if we, um, even if we jump in, right? Even if we move the picture around, we still got these black lines everywhere. Okay, so one, oh, by the way, one thing you want to watch out for is once you change the aspect ratio, if you have any titles or names of people or subtitles or anything like that, which um, they're, they're going to change um, in size and position and you need to reposition and resize them. And that's kind of annoying. So actually that's one reason why you might not want to do this. Um, let me show you an example here that, that happened for me. Um, so I often use the actual letterboxing um, to, to incorporate the subtitles here. So here this lady, you can see she says something. At the same time, we're bringing up a name. So this is how, it, how I wanted it to look. But when I resized it, it went to this, right? So um, the size of the subtitles here, you can see it's got smaller. Um, and also, of course, it's moved up into the actual picture. So that's, I mean, that's all fine. There's stuff you can fix, but just to be aware of that and um, before you output, because uh, that might end up making your video look pretty bad if you forgot about that stuff. Okay, guys, well, that's it. Thanks, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If I've said anything that's incorrect in this um, video, which I probably have, uh, please feel free to uh, write a comment. Or if you have a better way to do this, then also do the same. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope, I hope you found it useful. All right, thank you.